as you, as you emphasized in, in your articles, it's not just that neurodivergent people can work in cybersecurity. It's that, like you said here, if you can take away certain procedural roadblocks or sources of anxiety, certain neurodivergent traits are suited sp spectacularly well to cybersecurity and IT positions. Uh, so I think let, let's sort of reverse this from uh, HR's nightmare to, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, teams, uh, team's ultimate success here. What are, what are some examples of jobs or roles where a neurodiverse person can provide a different insight into problems or do the work in unconventional but, but uh, very successful ways? Uh oh, you there, Ian? Oh, oh uh, you, you, I you're we're back. Yeah, you're, you're you're something something cut off on your side there. You froze. But, oh, uh, oh, sorry about that. That's why. Um, okay. So, uh, in terms of the strengths that neurodiverse candidates bring, um, uh, this is my favorite part to talk about. I could talk about it for days and days and days. All right. And luckily. Mm -hmm. Luckily, it's not just my word you need to take for it, because um, uh, mm -hmm. uh, like I just mentioned, that Rand Corporation report, uh, report that uh, came out recently, I think it was about a year ago, um, they cited the rules-oriented nature of national security work as a natural fit for many flavors of autism, because there's a natural boost to compliance and operational security. Again, it goes back to that black and white thinking and yes. that, um, you know, that, that very... Software firm SAP noted. Oh, sorry, sorry, Ian. I don't mean to. Uh, uh, we had another. We had another freeze up there just now. Is so it, um, uh, I wonder what's going on. Yeah, weird. So good for a bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it was it was, it was perfect. But uh, yeah, that's okay. We can. We'll, we'll be able to cut this out. Gotcha. It's not a big problem. Okay. Um, so uh, the huge accounting firm, Ernst & Young, not only founded but expanded their neurodiversity programs okay. due to exemplary performance. Software firm SAP noted teams, including autistic individuals, were responsible for a rise in patent applications and innovation mm -hmm. and products. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we've talked a little about pattern matching uh Previously, neurodiverse folks, uh, especially autistics, are natural uh, natural pattern processors. Mm -hmm. Whether you're looking to identify patterns amidst noise or identify deviation in patterns, yep. Um, uh, another big thing is hyper focus on critical tasks. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, hyper focus comes with a, a debit on the end. You know, you need some recovery time on the end. But um, uh, the once uh, someone engages in hyper focus, the kind of stuff that they, they can get done that would take a week or weeks uh, from uh, typical employees is huge. We can be miracle workers in a pinch um, with the proper setting and with the proper motivation. Um, also, problem solving um, from unique viewpoints becomes a superpower in yeah. constrained environments when typical solutions won't do. Right. So uh, just coming from that uh, unique perspective um, and, and, you know, circling back to that Rand report and that quote, the missions that are too important and too difficult to be left to those who only use their brains in typical ways. Mm -hmm. um, it, just the ability and the uh, diversity of thought that can solve these problems in ways that either aren't available or aren't thought of is huge. Have you seen Work Bites, the new security awareness training series from InfoSec? Our team produced this series with three E's in mind, making security awareness training entertaining, engaging, and educational. Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to learn more about this hilarious office comedy. And hey, let us know what you think about it.